Okay, so we are all good. We are here in the meeting now, and um, and we are up on the screen here and the, in the lecture theater. And I've got a couple of students, and we're also here on Teams. Okay, so I'm just going to start up my phone camera for a second now to do a bit of a quick demo here, and I'll splice this video in together after. So I'm recording on my phone now, uh, what's on my screen here, and we can see that it's up on the screen of the lecture theater, and I have a couple of demo students here with me. So they are socially distanced, and they have their laptops with them. They could also use their phones with the uh, Teams app to connect to some of the resources. So what this is going to do for students is it is going to allow them to access any of the digital resources that I have set up in advance. And it's gonna let them uh, interact with some of those resources and with each other, even though they're socially distanced here in the lecture theater. So now the next thing that I'm gonna do, I have in Teams, and you can go to the same team on your app if you want, it's called Rob's Demo Class. And I have some tabs set up, one of them is a PowerPoint. So I have uh, today's lecture notes, lecture slides here in Teams that you can follow along. But I'm gonna present these slides directly from my desktop and you can follow along on here if you like, but I'm gonna present them directly from my desktop simply because I have a couple of interactive things built in that I'm not sure if they'll work properly in Teams. Uh, so I'm gonna bring up the, those slides and this is my demo uh, demonstration, and I am going to actually present them. So you should be seeing them up on the screen now. Uh, my apologies, Carolyn, my apologies. I should share my screen in Teams with you so that you can see it. So let me hit share screen here. And this is good that uh, that we're making these little flubs because um, you know all of us are gonna go through this when we're teaching in class. And if we're going synchromodal, we gotta make sure that we're sharing our screen as well. So I want share content and I am going to um, I'm going to share screen two, which is the projector screen. So you should be seeing my slide there now, which has uh, digital tech in adult education. So these are some old slides that I pulled up for this uh, for this demo. Um, that will just do nicely for our purposes. I'm not going to go through all the content, obviously, because this is a demo. But you can imagine that I'm going through this presentation now. We're going to do our check-in. I'm going to ask how the last class went and all kinds of stuff like that. I have some materials to present here on transactional distance theory. A little quote from, uh, from a student in the past, uh, my response to a student, and have a class discussion about that. Another slide about the content. Another little quote. And then I have a little poll here. This is I'm putting this in using something called Poll Everywhere. So I'm going to ask everybody, how are you feeling now about the content that we just went through? So you can get your computers in, and access this, or you can use your phone. So I'm going to ask you all to go to that link that's uh, listed up there on the screen, pollev.com, and that uh, backslash Rob Power 755 and you'll see this poll, you can just click the emoji that represents how you're feeling. So if uh, if the two of you, Lynn and Robin, if you wanna give this a try, and this will give me a quick sense of how everyone in the class is feeling about the content. You can certainly do that from at home, from at home as well, Carolyn. So if you wanna give this a try, you can use your computer or your phone, go to that link and just click one of the emojis and I'll get a quick sense of how the room is doing. This can just open up any browser, go to pollev.com 
slash Rob Power 755. No, but that's a good point. I can actually put this link into the chat in Teams or send it out to you in advance, which I should have done. And then you can just click on the link. So we'll just wait for a moment until everyone gives a response here. There we go. So now I'm seeing everybody who has replied so far is happy about the content. So I can quickly see if anybody is feeling uneasy about the content and I can speed up or slow down. I could spend more time on this topic if, uh, if I'm getting a negative response from the room. If everyone's happy with it, I can move on.